There is a supernatural world that surrounds us, and sometimes it manifests to people like you and me. You'll hear stories about this and so much more right here on Supernatural Confrontations. I interviewed Leslie. She had an encounter years ago, a light in the sky that basically followed her. And you'll hear her testimony in just a few minutes. But first, a word from our trusted sponsor. Have you ever wondered why we age? Not just because of the years that go by, but why do we visibly age? A big factor is a protein called collagen. Or should I say the lack of it? Pay close attention, folks. Many studies have discovered that our collagen levels decrease 10% every decade. Think of collagen as the glue that holds us together. The less you have, the more visible your signs of aging may be. You don't know it yet, but in the next minute, you're going to learn how to help reduce these visible signs of aging. After years of searching, I found the closest thing we may have to the fountain of youth. Folks, I take it every day. It's called collagen and it helps rejuvenate my skin from inside out by supplying it with the five specific types of collagen my body desperately needs. By boosting your collagen intake, you'll help restore your skin's elasticity while reducing the appearance of wrinkles. Stop and ask yourself where you'll be in one year if you don't start taking this amazing substance called collagen right now. Folks, you can try it risk-free for 60 days simply by going to healthwithla.com. That's healthwithla.com, healthwithla.com, or by clicking the link below. This is a time-sensitive offer, so please check it out. After entering your details, you'll receive your collagen delivered right to your doorstep in a few short days. Folks, 60-day money-back guarantee. The healthy aging support of collagen and ideal forms. Five key types of collagen you need from four different sources. Folks, it's the way to go. I take it every day, and I think it's helped me. So Leslie joins us. She's bold and courageous enough to come on the record and tell us what happened so many years ago. Folks, the phenomenon is real, and that's why we do these shows. If you have a supernatural confrontation, please shoot us an email, supernatural at lamarzulli.net. That's supernatural at lamarzulli.net. Our producer, John Adam, will get back to you. We've got a stack of people that want to get on the show, and we're being diligent about it. And John Adam is contacting people, and uh, we'll get to you eventually. Anyway, here's my interview with Leslie. I'm here with Leslie, and I just want to thank her for being bold and courageous enough uh, to come on the record. Folks, I know that a lot of you out there have had supernatural confrontations. Don't be afraid to write us, supernatural at lamarzulli.net. Supernatural at lamarzulli.net. Our producer, John Adam Hicks, will get to you. We are weeding through the hundreds of people that want to tell their story, and that's what this platform is about. So, Leslie, thanks so much for coming on the record. You had a close encounter. Tell us about that, please. I did. This uh, happened in 1995, and I was coming home in the evening, uh, late in the evening from church, Um I want to stress that I'm a born again Christian because maybe other believers out there uh, have had experiences and like me, not exactly sure what to do with things like that when it happens. So I was coming home and I'm headed west. Um, I'm about to turn left to go south. And uh, up ahead of me, I see a white light going from south to north and the area that i live in there are no um nearby airports it's a very small okay. town and so when it flew across uh, my face um, or at least my peripherals so when it came across 
I was concerned because I was wondering where in the world that plane was going. Mm. Now, I didn't see a plane, but I assumed it was a plane. So I turn left. It had gone north. And I go down uh, just about halfway down that street. And all of a sudden, that light now is in front of me. And... I, I couldn't figure out how that happened. And I thought, well, it must be a helicopter. So um, I rolled down my window, but I couldn't hear anything. And when I say I, you know, I couldn't see anything other than this ball of white light. And I started getting kind of nervous. It made me nervous. And so I did exactly what my parents always told me when a, a strange car is following you, you know, make a series of turns, you know, um, don't bring them exactly to your house. And that's what went through my mind. So I'm zigzagging through the neighborhood and I realize I can't shake this light. And I started praying. And all of a sudden, again, I just, it's, I didn't have a paradigm of UFOs. I, as a believer, didn't believe in that, but I did believe in the supernatural. I do believe in that. And I felt like the Holy Spirit revealed to me that whatever this was, it was evil. And I remember distinctly knowing it was not only mocking me, but it was enjoying the fear uh. that it was inflicting on me. And that actually got me angry. It ticked me off rather than scared me at that point. But I knew what to do because over the course of uh, 62 or 52 years of being a believer, I have encountered um, the enemy in different ways. I knew how to rebuke it. Um, and so that's exactly what I did. And then it just disappeared. Um, it wasn't until LA, probably around 2015, that I started seeing more and more um, UFO videos on YouTube, and then came across your uh, DVD ser series interview with uh, Gary Stearman mm -hmm. and Tom Horn, the alien agenda, mm -hmm. that literally I went, Oh, I didn't know what to call it when it happened to me. I didn't believe in UFOs. I had never seen a UFO. It didn't look like a flying saucer. Uh, it was just this ball of light. Mm -hmm. It was following me. And I knew it was enjoying the fear that it inflicted on me. What, what year was this again? 1995 okay so it's it's a long time ago and then yes over a period of years you started to realize what you were looking at exactly Did you ever exactly. tell anybody about it after you saw the light Did you... well i i told my husband okay. um but i didn't know it was outside of my my paradigm as far as what do I call this? Do well, I call nothing this in your grid system? Yes. You can, you can even, well, what am I looking at? Why isn't it making any sound? And I get that. And that's what, that's when people have an encounter like this, they're like, they're taken aback because there, there's right. nothing, nothing in the grid system, which prepares them to even deal with it. And I knew, as I said, I, I knew at a certain point that this was supernatural. I just didn't know what to call it. Because in church, obviously, things like that never get talked about. Right, of course not. Um, and, you know, so I guess to a large degree, because the few times I've heard people share that they've had uh, an encounter with a UFO or something supernatural like that, that they get mocked, you know, or deemed crazy. So, you know, I was... Uh, been a believer for 52 you know now 52 years and i just accepted that um that narrative that there were no such things as ufos and 
uh, aliens and things like that. But I did know what supernatural was. I did know what evil was. And that's what I assigned to it. And now, obviously, in hindsight, L.A., uh, I, you know, I, I have a better grasp on what it was that I was experiencing. Mm hmm. You know, it's amazing, Leslie, it's, it's your story is is echoed by countless others out there who have never come on the record. Um, a lot of people, um, I'm working on this abduction film, which which will come out before Christmas. I mean, I'm, I'm like, it's pedal to the metal. It's time to get this stuff out. And number three is just being released. We're doing it. Right. So this is going to be followed by number four, possibly number five. We're like really pressing in to, to get as many of these things out. And there's a reason for it because people up until recently where the whole UFO phenomenon now is being talked about in mainstream media, uh, a right. lot of money come lately come in and start talking about it and telling you what they think. And then you got real researchers like myself and, and other people like, like Tim Alberino and right. German. I mean, people have been doing this for literally decades. We're almost like pushed to the side why all these Johnny come lately's come up and start talking about it. And it's just, it's sort of hysterical because, you know, they act like they've, well, I've read a couple of reports and it's like, meanwhile, many of us have spent decades being ridiculed and ostracized and kicked out of churches. My last mm -hmm. church kicked out of churches for what we're talking about. You're scaring the people, but now it's here, you know, now right. it's here and, it, and it's in your, it's in your lap. It's in the people and this is what drives me nuts. The church still doesn't get it for the most part. Your thoughts? Well, I think the uh, number one, my husband and I have said this, and I've heard you echo this. The church needs to have an answer to this. Um, if they are willing, they, meaning the enemy, is willing to show himself to born again believers and the church doesn't have an answer to that. Right, there you go. What what, what will the unbelievers that don't have the Lord believe? Obviously, they're going to be deceived. And this, this discussion has to happen. It, it's, it's well overdue. It needs to happen. Well, um, you know, that, that's, that's why we're doing, first of all, that's why we're doing the show. Second of all, that's why we've got three ufo videos out there followed right. by four very soon and the woman that you'll see the trailer maybe by friday her name is karen and i just watched all 32 minutes of her of her interview that we did with her and i you know penciled in different things because that's how you edit you got to find out you know how this is going to come down and and one of the one of the questions or one of the the um, how do I want to phrase this? One of her statements really impacted me very viscerally because she kept all this inside for decades, mm -hmm. for decades. People are afraid to talk about it. Right. Not here, not on this show. That's why we're doing it. That's why we're doing the films. We're the tip of the spear. There's a biblical answer to all of this, in my opinion. And I know, Leslie, you agree with that. There's Absolutely. a biblical paradigm. There's a biblical answer. Could the Christian church should be the tip of the spear for the most part. We're like, you know, ancient aliens has been going on 15 years. Right. We're educating our kids, your kids, and your grandkids. I'll give you the last word, Leslie. Thanks so much for coming on the record. Absolutely. Um, again, I just feel like for decades, not just the church, but a born again believer, um, you need to know what it is that you're dealing with. Amen. You need to know. Uh, and again, if they are that arrogant and bold to uh, stick their dirty toe across the line here and show themselves to uh, to a believer, um, you need to know how to deal with it. And my goodness, the church needs to wake up because the church cannot be on the de defense or the Johnny come lately with a reason why this is happening. Well said, really well said folks. You heard it from Leslie, not from me. That's from Leslie.
Time to get the films, time to pop the popcorn, bring people over. Heck, the first two are free. I can't do any more than that. But and the they first, were wonderful. They, they, they were absolutely wonderful. Have a UFO party, bring them, invite your pastor, time to wake up the church, time to wake up Amen. your ones so you will not be deceived. Leslie, thanks Amen. so much for coming on the record. Really appreciate it. All right. Thank you, L.A. No. We are told in the guidebook of a supernatural, i.e. our Bibles, that the dragon will come with all signs and lying wonders. We are told in 2 Thessalonians, and you've heard me talk about this before, that because they did not believe the truth, God sends them, allows it to happen, strong delusion. Folks, we're here. It's no longer the stuff of tinfoil hat-wearing folks and conspiracy theories and coast-to-coast -coast George Norrie at you know, wee hours of the morning where all the kooks stay up and, and listen to these people who get abducted and everything else. It's in your face. Fox News stated, and we talk about this in the film, in our new film, part three, Close Encounters. Brett Baer stated on the record that some women who are being taken by UFOs become pregnant. This is my wheelhouse. This is what I've been banging the drum about literally for decades. What are you waiting for? We have a pre-sale right now for number three. We're working on number four. Um, the trailer might be out by Friday. We'll see what happens. It's on abductions. This may be the best film um, I've ever produced. Not saying yet, because we still have a ways to go on it. Most of the interviews have already been shot, so we're in post-production, and uh, we're working feverishly to get this out before Christmas. It's that important. But in the meantime, you can order part three, Close Encounters, get five bucks off, so it's $14.99, plus you get to watch Watchers 1. You'll be able to stream that for free. Folks, the, the phenomenon is real. It's time to bring people over, uh, pop the popcorn, Get a bunch of folks over and have a UFO party. Show all three films. It's that important. Because here's the deal. We don't know um, how long we're here for. N none of us do. We don't know whether the church gets taken up before they show up. That's certainly a possibility. There's a, a phrase I coined years ago. We go up, they show up. We go up, they come down. That may be exactly what happened. But we don't know. And that's conjecture on my part. So in the meantime... We need, to be, we need to be armed. You need to be armed, and that's why we're making the films. Anyway, I, I hope you'll contribute to what we do here. Uh, we sure could use it, and thank you ahead of time for your contribution. And all I'm asking you to do is, is buy the film. Buy the film and show it. Give it to your pastor. Show it to your loved ones. Folks, the phenomenon is real, burgeoning and not going away. Thanks so much for watching UFO Update. We'll see you again soon. They got their knowledge from the heavens. You saw it, said, whoa, that's a UFO. This orb comes up and it's bright orange. I'm not wanting to make full eye contact with these things. Uh -huh. But from what I did see when I did look at them, they're, they're, they're like they're soulless. It was right directly above us right here, and then it started tilting and moving up like that. All of a sudden, I was being lifted about three feet off the ground. It was going slow. I was walking right underneath it.